Alright, welcome to this uh, tutorial for DOSBox for Abandonia by Darthelmet86, which is uh, me, obviously. Um, in the last tutorial, we uh, set up our DOSBox to auto mount to our user's file and our name and inside old games, so that every time we started it, we wouldn't have to enter our mount lines repeatedly over and over. Um, this time, however, we're going to do some more stuff inside the options menu, options for DOSBox to uh, set the CPU cycles to a higher amount and to the, the changing of it to a higher amount so we can have better versatility with games and stuff. Um, and we also install a program called Norton Commander, which we'll do first, which um, allows people who aren't as good at remembering all the commands for DOSBox or DOS um, a much easier way, a much faster way of accessing their programs in games, mainly because it's a um, uh, similar to Windows, it, it's a a front end for DOS. It's a little, we'll have a little window here and it'll list all our programs and we'll be able to double click stuff and use our mouse rather than having to use our keyboard. Alright, um, first things first is I'm going to show you where to get Norton Commander. Um, I already have it on my computer. That's it there, Norton Commander. However, to be able to find it um, yourselves, you need to go to abandonia.com which is not fitting in this page very well, but there we go. Abandonia.com. Um, I'm already on the page, but yep, go to Abandonia.com. We'll do that anyway, we'll just click on it. And then from there, you'll want to click on Services, and then you'll find Programs. If you click on that, you'll find the Programs page, which lists DOSBox, VDM and Sound, Boxer, and a couple other very useful programs for certain certain other games and stuff which aren't that useful anymore but some people need to use them so yeah but, but the very important one we want is Norton Compan Commander which you can get from here and bada bing bada boom you'll download it it's very small it'll be on your computer pretty quickly alright you want to do is you want to put that zip file into your old games inside your user's name underneath your username um, and then you want to unzip it now generally games from Abandonia come zipped up with a folder inside them with all the files inside the folder. However, this game here, or this program here, doesn't. It's um, just all the files zipped in. So instead of just uh, extracting here, we want to extract to NC. All right. This here is Norton Commander. It's actually Norton Commander's installer. So we'll actually, I'll just rename this just so there's no mistake. Just install. Int for install. Just so I remember. Plus the um, Norton Commander I'm going to install to NC on um, DOSBox. Now, what we want to do is open DOSBox. And we want to, we'll just check our directory of dir slash w. And as we can see, we've got NC int. So we go NC int. Oh, I've got to press CD, sorry. Ha 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 ha. And we'll check the directory again. Uh, if you ever want to go back to commands you've already used, you can press up on, up on the up arrow and you can go back through and down, obviously. It's like a little scroll wheel. Alright. In this case, we want to install. So we're going to type install. Alright. Select the colors. Well, that's C for color. And then we want to continue. And we want to do a full install. Um, C, NC is probably the best to install it to pretty easy to remember. Um, but remember, this won't be on your actual C drive, this will be on your mounted C drive, so um, that will be in your user file and under old games. So then we press continue, and away it installs. Oh, 36%! Come on! Uh, it's going a little bit slow due to the fact my cycles aren't very high, but eh, welcome to being back in the day. Um, once we've done this, I'll show you how to auto mount it um, in our DOSBox config to force this to load up every time we play. We start DOSBox, and you'll be able to run your Norton Commander program instantly. Much more, much ha faster for people who aren't in tune with DOSBox to use this program. Come on, and done. Yes, done. And what it needs is a reboot. Um, Unfortunately, DOSBox can't reboot because it's not a real computer, so we'll just e exit the installation now, and then we'll exit DOSBox, because we don't really need to be inside there anymore. 
Now if we go to our old games folder, we'll see we now have NC, which is Norton Commander, and that there is an executive file, an application called NC. Um, very useful to know because we, that's how we're going to enter it in our config. Just going to go to DOSBox options. Ooh, that's way too big. Minimize. Yay. Ooh, there we go. That still looks horrible. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is go down to the bottom of the page again. And after we've got this, we've got the C, we're going to press enter and type c slash nc slash nc dot exe now that will cause uh, when we open dosbox it will cause it to um, instantly load up Norton Commander and we'll go back and check that in one second but while we're here for this time I'm going to show you how to change the cycles and the um, full screen mode for dosbox so we our cycles okay now here we've got our cycles area. We've got core, CPU type, cycles, and cycle up and down. Now, cycles are set to auto, which is normally about 3000 for DOSBox, and then it'll push itself up for games and that. It can lead to problems with some games because, you know, they're not designed to run on low speeds. They might need to run on faster ones, or they need to be run on slower. Um, the best option I've found for it is 10,000, um, which will allow it to, to run most games pretty well. Um, you might have to drop it down for older games, but that's alright. Um, for cycles up, we want a thousand, and we want the same thing for cycles down. Um, to cycle up in DOSBox, we use Control and F12. To cycle down, Control and F11. And that will cause it to quite easily, we'll be able to cycle up and down to the game ranges that we need. Um, if you find that you're playing games where you need to cycle down a lot all the time, lower your cycles. If you find that you need to cycle up all the time, just raise your cycles. Um, it's not going to harm it in any way if you need to do it. Alright, the next thing we want to do is go up a bit higher. Um, actually, I'm going to save here because I'm not going to keep the full screen stuff that we do. But um, you make sure you save when you finish. Alright, the first thing we need to do is change full screen to true. If I can spell today. Uh, but if we did this, it would cause DOSBox to stretch the image out and it would look pretty bad, pixelated, yada yada. But we can solve that with other options. For starters, we'll change full resolution from original to 1024 times 768. That times is just an X. So don't get excited, just 1024x768. And we want to change output to D draw. Um, that'll help extend the, the um, DOSBox program out across the screen rather than being in the middle. And the last one we want to do to make sure that games that are in lower resolutions get scaled up to the 1024 by 768 is change the aspect. We've got aspect false. We want to change that to true. And I really can't spell. All right, so just to double, double check what you've done, go full screen true, full resolution 1024x768, output to DD draw, D draw, DD draw, and aspect to true. All right. Easy. Now make sure you save it. I'm not going to because I don't want DOSBox going full screen because otherwise it'll uh, be well and truly outside of the little box that I've got recording at the moment. Uh, don't save. Make sure you do. You must save. Alright, we open up DOSBox. Oh. You see I held on to it which paused it for a moment there but yeah. Anyway, it's loaded up. Norton Commander is here. And as we can see if we look at our CPU speeds they're now at 10,000, if I press control of 12, there's 11,000, back down, if I use control of 11. Alright, if we click on DOSBox with the mouse, which will allow us to control the mouse inside it, but we can't move the mouse out of it now. Um, the easiest way to get out of that is to press start, which will allow you to wave your mouse around again until you need to click back in. Alright, now what we have here is the folders on our C drive. Uh, we've got Police Quest 1 is here, we've got Norton Commander, and Norton Command is installed and it's zip. Um, you can open up the other side, the left side. If we go to on off, that can open up that. And there's many options for different sort of, you know, um, how you want to look at the, uh, the, the details that the game, the Norton Commander can find. I happen to like it just like this and using the up and down to cycle through. Other people like doing it different ways. Just um, find the way that you like, which side you like, and go with that. Just remember that the right, you can turn that on and off. It's gone. I'm going to put it back. And you can turn the left on and off. 
Uh, the rest of these commands you're probably not going to need to use. Now, the only problem with this is um, if you've got more files, folders than what can it show here, you can click down and it'll scroll all the way down for them. Um, the other problem with it is if you just type exit like you normally would to quit DOSBox, it's not going to do anything. Um, so you have to press F10, which brings up the NAUGHT commander to quit, and yes, exit to quit DOSBox. Of course, if you free your mouse, you can just press the X and close out. It's up to you either way how you want to do that. All right. I hope that's helped. Uh, if you need any more help with this, please come to Abandonia and ask in our forums. Thank you. See you there.